Ali. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my backing boards that I've put together for when I do flat lays or um, photographs of my jewellery and stuff and I thought I'd share it with you. Um, some of them are new which I've just put together because um, otherwise it can get a bit boring with the same background the whole time. Um, currently I haven't bought the backing boards that um, you know, it looks like a canvas, but it's the flat one. Um, I haven't actually bought those ones because they are, you, they're not open. <laughs> you, know, you can't get to them right now because they are not an essential service. So um, I've just had to make do with what I've got here. And um, I thought I would show you what it looks like. And then um, you can see. I'm going to also be doing a video on how I do my flat lays. Um, it's not professional, so let me just put a disclaimer there. I'm not a professional photographer. I have done some diplomas through Shaw Academy on photography um, in different ways and also videography, but I wouldn't say that I'm a professional. I'm still learning. It's just something I find like a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun taking photographs and seeing things differently. So I hope that you enjoy the video. First of all, I've got the backing boards that my husband made for me with um, actual palette wood. And he made this one to be like a brownie ready color. And then this one is the whitewash color. So I usually take these and then I'll put the other boards on top of it. So I'm going to do the white one. Um, I do t t uh, take my photographs here yeah, unless I can find a better place or with better light in it. But this, this room has the best natural light in it. Okay, so I took a flip file and I did a cover for it with photo background sheets and then I put all of the sheets in it that I would like to use for backgrounds. So um, I'll go through it for you quickly. These are just papers that I got for scrapbooking or in magazines and that a while ago when I was still buying magazines <laughs> for Pinterest and um, I just decided to keep them. So this is the one you can see it's actually like a it's got like a milky background, but with that on the side. And this one, which has got two sides. Okay, this one would probably go well for Christmas stuff, as well as these ones. And that. This one opens up to a big sheet. That one. This one that looks like a scroll. Right. And these are um, the marble, but they're like the um, see through marble ones. And that's the pink one, and this is the blue one. And then I've got the smaller sheets like that. So when you use these, Let's see, I'll take one like this. I've actually used this one in a photo before. And what I'll do is I will put the photo, I'll put the photo for you on the side of the screen so you can see. So you would put this in the photograph. You don't always have to put stuff on top of it as a background. It could just also be a prop that you could use. So you'd put that on and then your other stuff would be put around it. Um, I won't do that now because I'm going to show it in the other video where I actually show you how to do the flat lays. So that's basically how it works. You just take it and you put it down. If you've got the, if you find wrapping paper, because I couldn't find any that I liked enough to use as um, a background. But if you find wrapping paper that you like, you can always use it and keep it down with maybe stones or something. And put that on as well or if you can if you are someone that is able to get to a craft shop at the moment that your craft shops are open then you can actually get the flat canvas that you get that's thinner um, and then you can also wrap it with that sticky paper if you want to that's got that marble look to it or um, wall um, wallpaper that's got like a marble look or any wallpaper that you might find that you like or the sticky paper that you might like so that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that it helped a little bit for um, like background, give you ideas of backgrounds that you can use. 
Um, it's a short video, but I, I hope it was still helpful. If you liked the video, if you can please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, if you can please do so and click that subscription block below. It shows support for my channel, which I really do appreciate. And also, if you look in the description block below, you will find all of my social media um, where you can go and follow me. And then also my blog and my Patreon account, which is where you'll find more content from me. And my Patreon account is also the best place for you to support what I do on this channel and also what I do on my blog. I hope that you have a lovely day further, keep your crystal on and your sparkle strong. Goodbye.